Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna go book shopping slash thrifting. There are two places in total and we're gonna see how many books we can get at the end. The first place we're gonna go to is Nelson Hayes Library. They have a few book sales throughout the year and you can go in and thrift some used books. The prices are really low so if you are in Thailand you should definitely check it out. We made it to the book sale. There's actually a lot of people here. There's a lot of tourists too. So if I speak in English, they're gonna understand me. So social anxiety is really getting the best of me. People are coming out with like huge bags of books. So I am feeling maybe we'll find something. At first, I didn't really have like a lot of hope that we would find anything because I just saw like the previous book sales and they didn't really have a wide range of collection, but there is a lot of books today. So we'll see if we find something good. Fingers crossed. This is me walking into the library. It was so crowded, like there was people everywhere and it's so awkward to film. There were also a lot of books as you can see and they're constantly adding new additions. So every table is just constantly full. I think there were two tables for fiction and the rest of them were either nonfiction, cooking books or vintage books. This is me looking at Twilight. They had two books in the Twilight series, but I was thinking to myself like, hey, I'm never going to read it. So I put it back down. There was also an outside book sale area. So I think the books were cheaper. This was basically just a huge pile of books. There were also Thai books in here, but I don't read books in Thai, so I didn't pick any up. These books were definitely more old, more unknown authors or like really vintage kid books. They also had CDs, which I also took a look to see if I could find any Taylor Swift ones, but they didn't have any. So I ended up with this Snoopy Nutcracker CD. This is me with my mom. She's so cute. There are also two baskets of comics and I looked through these. I think I bought four in total, two for myself and then two for my dad. These are so cool and so vintage looking. This is us looking through the nonfiction section. I feel like if I were to pick up a book about business or marketing, anything like that, it would be so outdated. So there was just no point looking through it. They also had a section filled with really really old books these were priced a little bit higher but there was also writing in books i love when i find like old books with writing in it it just feels really special and then next door there was also a cafe so i got some carrot cake and some thai tea the next place we went to is the Big Bad Wolf book sale. This is located in a little mall right across from Central World. So you have to take a little walk there, but it's very short. Then you take the skywalk and then you go into this building and it's on the ground floor. There are signs everywhere, so it's super easy to find. There were a lot of books here. I think 50% were like children's books, like really, really small children. So obviously I didn't look through that section because I'm not a small child anymore. So I went to my young adult and romance and thriller section, which these are the prices and they're bought by the way. So I was just looking through. They definitely had more of a selection than the Nelson Hayes Library Thrift, but they also didn't have like any of the books I was really interested in reading. So I didn't get as many books as I thought I would, but I feel like the fiction section should be expanded because they only had a few tables for fiction and then there were so many tables for kids books. But anyways, I did find a few books I thought I would enjoy and they also had a box set of Jane Austen and I really wanted it, but I didn't get it because I was like, am I really gonna read it? We are back home. Now I'm gonna give you a book haul of all the books I got. I also got some Thai tea. I was debating between Thai tea and green tea, but then I was like, ah, you know, like green tea, it's very 50-50. It's like sometimes the matcha doesn't taste good. Thai tea is usually always good. Like it's a pretty consistent taste at every store. Maybe it's because I'm in Thailand, but this is really good. Anyways, the first place I went to is Nelson Hayes Library and they had a book 
thrifting thing going on. I actually didn't get as many books as I thought I was going to get. I think all the books that they had for sale would be great if you're opening a coffee shop or something. And then they also had CDs, which I looked through as well. I thrifted the Snoopy CD, which I think is really cute. But once again, I don't even have a CD player, so why did I get it? Because it was cute. I also was trying to find some like vintage Taylor Swift CDs, but I couldn't find any. Um, even if there were, it was probably already picked up <laughs> by some other Swiftie. Anyways, did not find any Taylor Swift CD, but I did get this Snoopy one, which I think is really cute, just like to display and stuff. So yeah. The first book I picked up is a Dan Brown book. I've never read a Dan Brown book before, and I didn't even know who Dan Brown was before my friend told me that she really liked all of his books and she has read all of them. If you're wondering who Dan Brown is, you don't have to go any further because when you literally open it his face is just right there we went to the cafe next door so i read a few pages of this i don't really enjoy his writing style that much it's just kind of giving male gaze a little bit the guard admired susan as she began to walk down the cement causeway he noticed that her strong hazel eyes seemed distant today but her cheeks had a flushed freshness and her shoulder length auburn hair looked newly blown dry trailing her was the faint scent of johnson's baby powder his eyes fell to the length of her slender torso to her white blouse with the bra barely visible beneath to her knee length cocky skirt and finally to her legs dot 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 susan fletcher's legs hard to imagine they support a 170 iq he mused to himself I just didn't like the way she was described that much. Maybe I'm just so used to romance books being like, she's so pretty and her brain makes me want to fall in love with her and blah, 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 blah. But yeah, I will put it down for now, but we will see if I come back to it. Next book I got is The Demon Lover. And this is actually like, this was like fucking glued together. So I had no choice but to buy both of them. Genuinely, I'm never going to read this. I just thought the cover was cute and it says demon lover on it, which is, I don't know, it's kind of cute, right? So these are like old coupons. I thought it would be like a cute decorator. Once again, I didn't really find any books I wanted to read. So at this point, I was just grasping onto anything that I found cute. Okay, last but not least, I was also digging through the comic section. So I picked up these two. I just picked up the ones that had Hot Woman on the cover. I grew up with my parents really liking Spider-Man. So I also have to like Spider-Man. My mom and I also picked up a few comics for my dad as well so a little side note i also took a trip to the bookstore recently so i'm going to give you a haul from the actual bookstore no thrifting no book sale this is like the actual full price bookstore i did end up buying quite a few books so i'm going to give you a haul first i got magnolia parks into the dark and i needed this book because look at how gorgeous this cover is she looks so beautiful also i have the whole series except for this one so it was time to finally get this one then i got collide which i actually already read and finished <laughs> i finished this book in two days guys i'm just going to give you a quick book review i gave this book four stars if you like icebreaker you will like collide she's a psychology student and he is a hockey player he's like the captain of the hockey team there are really good jealousy scenes in this book there's also grumpy x sunshine she's the grumpy one and he is the sunshine this was just supposed to be a fun read and it served its purpose which is why i gave it a four star like it's not supposed to be the next donna tart book or anything you know what i mean it was a fun read a great palette cleanser i actually really enjoyed this i flew by it in two days so that should tell you something then i got these three holly jackson books Oh, sorry, not Holly Jackson. Who is Holly Jackson? Holly Jackson is an author, right? <laughs> I got these three Holly Black books. Oh my God, Cruel Prince reading vlog coming out soon, by the way. I got The Stolen Heir, The Prisoner's Throne, and I also got How the King of Elfheim Learned to Hate Stories, which is like picture book with a bunch of illustrations. Last but not least, I went to the Big Bad Wolf book sale and I got a few books from there too. I was actually really hopeful that I would get a lot of books. I didn't get as many as I thought I would. I wish I kind of splurged more. I was like honestly looking at the bag and seeing if I would actually read them because I don't want to have like a huge TBR and not get through any of the books. There are some books I regret not getting, which is this one and this one. There are also some books that I already had. I actually bought them when I went to the Rip Bodice in New York, but they were this one and this one. I wish I didn't buy them in New York. I wish I bought them at this book sale instead because they were like... Oh my god, they were so cheap. The first book I got is The Soulmate Equation by Christina Lauren. I kind of picked this up without reading the back because it was sealed and the back was just like praise for the book instead of the blurb, which I honestly hate. I wish it was the blurb instead, but it is hardcover and the inside is just like a yellow color. I got home and I unboxed this and then I read this blurb and turns out it's the single parent trope, which kind of hate i don't really like it when kids are in books on top of that it's also like science experimenty a little bit so science experimenty is not a word i don't know when i'm gonna get to this book or if i'm ever gonna get to this book let's just say i'm never gonna, i'm probably never gonna read this the second book i picked up is a not so meet cute i've heard nothing but good things about this i've seen this book so often in bookstores but i'm so like turned off 
from picking it up because of the cover seeing it in the book sale i was like i know i had to buy it they also had the third book that i didn't pick up because i looked on goodreads and the reviews were not that good i only picked this one up and if i really like this one then maybe i'll read the rest of the series and i can just get it on the kindle last but not least i got the great gatsby i've been to the bookstore so many times to buy a copy of this and the text size is just insane to me why would anyone make the text size this small it's still small in this book i just thought i would get it because it's on sale and then i'll just read it on the kindle instead because reading it in this book will actually be painful to my eyes. That's all for this book haul. Thank you so much for sitting through this and listening to me ramble about books. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. And I will see you in my next video. Bye! You